welcome back children now today again we are here on the online classes now today we will start on the same topic that is natural resources children till today we have studied about natural resources classification of natural resources uses of natural resources and today we are going to study about the conservation of natural resources now children natural resources are the things which we get from the nature and they are useful for us in our daily life now children we need air to breathe water to drink plants also need air water and sunlight now children plants without soil plants cannot grow so soil as a natural resource is very important for the plants and coal and oil also as the fuels so children don't you think that this uh, natural resource they should be conserved or say yes it is very important to conserve our natural resources now children as you have studied earlier the classification of natural resources natural resources are classified into two renewable and non renewable now children air water sunlight are the resources which are ex renewable resources which are inexhaustible resources means air water and sunlight will never get exhaust from the earth but children it is very necessary to make the proper use of this resources then there are some other uh, the, the other resources are non renewable resources for example coal petrol minerals natural gas these are the non renewable resources means these resources cannot renew again it take millions of year to form these resources if they are overused may get exhaust from the earth one day because of the ever increasing population and the overuse of the resources one day no resources will left for the future generation so children it is very important to conserve our natural resources now the overuse and the misuse of the natural resources are degrading the quality of air water and soil for example children we dump the garbage in the soil which creates the soil pollution we dump the garbage in the water bodies which creates the water pollution now children human beings are only responsible for the pollution which are created so children it is very very important to conserve our natural resources otherwise one day no resources will left for the future generation and the life will get finished on the earth so now children let us see how can we conserve our natural resources first of all we have to use the policy of reuse recycle and reduce we should do the rain harvesting and for and the most important is we should stop deforestation we should stop cutting the trees because trees the forest resources are very important because trees gives us oxygen which is very important for the human life not only human life but it is very important for all the living beings on the earth so children we have to use these resources very carefully then the last and the foremost children the use of the solar energy we should make maximum use of solar energy because solar energy is the ultimate source of the energy which we directly get from the sun so children if we will use more and more solar appliances then there will be no pollution because solar energies create very less pollution and so solar energies are called the resource of the future this was about the conservation of the natural resources when it is our duty to conserve our natural resources now this way we have completed the lesson and now children you will read the lesson thoroughly and try to understand the concept okay so for today this much is enough okay thank you